In this video, I will give player ratings for the Netbank Cup semi finals that Pirates won 2 1 against Kaiser Chiefs. Hello and welcome to Costa Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo. I am your host. This is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. I'm a football club. And yes, Chiefs lost the game, but not in a way that a lot of people had predicted. A lot of people thought the Chiefs were just going to crumble, Chiefs were going to get five goals and lose by a huge margin. But that didn't happen. It came down to missed opportunities and the common mistakes that we always make. So let's go through each individual and see how they performed. Starting with Brendan Peterson, who was the first to celebrate when we were drawn against the Pirates. And Luzwane says they weren't celebrating. They were just saying, came on, whatever, man. But <laughs> Peterson, Peterson, twice in that game, Ushanti and Odove were at the wrong side of each other and Peterson wasn't able to communicate with them and talk to them. The second thing is that the way that he considered the second goal, it shows what he wasn't aware of his position on, in, in goal. I even said this on the live stream yesterday, Uguti, when there was a ball that he saved that was going wide. That's because it, he couldn't see where he was and because of that ended up scrambling to save a ball that was going wide. And now even with the goal, you saw Uguti, he didn't think it was going in, but it was going in. So positioning Yake was suspect to begin with. And because of that, we lost the game. He gets a dream. Frostla, he provided us with width. And you saw him going forward from time and time again. But I did not see him for the rest of the match. He wasn't really that visible for me. So I actually give him a six. Moving on to Ngezana, who was once again, as usual, solid. But I do feel like Ngezana is a natural center pick. He should take a more commanding role. Because if you look at the second goal, how we considered the Nitetua goal, Ungezana did push up, but the people who were behind him were Ushla and Inotov, the ones who are left back and, and, and left center back. Those guys should know. And if you saw Ushla he was really tired because he was just walking back into playing that high line. But then they couldn't do it and then they fell asleep. So I think Ungezana as a, as a natural defender as a natural center back, he's the one who should take responsibility. I'm not saying Uli Sile. I'm saying for future games, I just wish to see him taking more responsibility and actually calling everyone, guys, let's push up, right? Because everyone who's, if you're a center back, that's what you do. You look, Ugut is everyone holding the line and tell everyone to push up and shout at everyone to push up. And because we didn't do that, it kind of cost us the game. And Vele going forward with the new players coming in, maybe won't even be starting, but for the two games that we have, I would like to see him take more responsibility. Otherwise, though, he did play a solid game, so I still give him a 7. Next up is Udove, who really tried to play well at times because there were tackles that he made that were so close to being shot on target, and then he was there, and then he kind of saved us, and that was good. But if you look at both goals, the first one is that he commits the wrong side and then he leaves an entire space for Usaleng to run into and cut the ball back. And that's really poor for a defender to do that. And the second goal, once again, he's caught napping and he's not communicating with Usanti Pamgwaku. Usanti, let's push up. They are not pushing up. And because of that, Umteto is just there. They are playing him on. He hits the ball. He scores. He's, he's caught. And the second thing is that going forward, Ben Oshanti, they were also not talking, which is worrying to me because there is a goal that he could have scored if he had just shouted, Oshanti, Oshanti, I am behind you. Le leave the ball and then he will finish off. But then he couldn't do that. And because of that, he cost us the game now in a way. I'm not trying to scapegoat certain players, but I do feel like he could have done better. He's an experienced defender, man. So Dove gets a four because also he's also ill-disciplined. A lot of times he, he moves out of position. That's not good because the moment you do that, you're leaving spaces behind you and smart strikers will see that space and exploit it. It's time for you guys, please, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And a member shout out today goes to Unkos Konam Caesar. So shout out to you, Unkos Konam Caesar. You can also get yourself a member shout out if you become a member. Only 20 runs per month. And you get all the other benefits that are listed on the left as well. Okay, right. Moving on to other positions, which is our defensive midfielders, uh, our double pivot. The first one being Ustebe, 
Ustebe was once again solid. Uzobezo got a bimbiza ngekomo. That's all I can say. Even going forward, he pushed up and he was still able to cover going backwards. Like he was really everywhere, like covering the, the winger, the, the full backs, but still available going forward. So Ustebe really played a good game. Uh, I will give him a 7.5. Umati, wow, Umati, probably like one of his best performances for Kaiser Chiefs so far this season. And because he kept the ball, he also scored the goal. It was just better than the, 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 the match that we've, we've become used to when he plays. So I will give him an 8 because even the movement to score that goal, it was good. So yeah, good to, like, kudos to him. Uh, Uzwane actually wasn't playing it. He was playing alongside Ustebe. And he passed accuracy. Ake, and just being able to see Ama passes. And he's going to continue to be better and better as time progresses. But he did play in patches and it disappeared from time to time. So for him, because he also didn't finish the game, I'll give him a 6.5. Next is Solomonzi. And Solomons had a really, really, really good game. And I'm glad actually Uguti. He, he, he showed us a different side of him because usually he's playing so wide, but since he was playing as a right winger, he was forced to be inverted and then Frostler would be the one who's overlapping ahead of him. And he picked up good positions and funny enough, not funny enough, like impressively enough, I saw a different side of him. Like the, the pass that he picked for Saile that he ended, Usaile ended up missing and also the assist. You see, I was impressed with him and Solomons gets a 7.5. Saile had good runs, but bad finishes. He cost us the game now. Shame. Three. I uh, won't even talk much. Dupree, he got a few chances and then it disappeared. In, in, in We came 5.5. It was below what Dupree usually does for us. Next, I must observe to I will mention Uke, Ukechi because he did not play that much. So I skipped right past him. When it comes to him, to shame. I did say if form is 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 not there, Kumfana, but Wagabozang, it's just that he wasn't like the normal mtu or the mtu that yeah, the normal mtu who's usually good and is usually going to give the team something. So unfortunately for him, Lit Dabi wasn't his and 5.5. When it comes to Kaleb, Ukeleb, Ukeleb, the less I say the better. He did it, he doesn't know how to trap, he doesn't know how to pass, he doesn't know how to score. It's a lot. Caleb just gets... I don't know how I can give him a two. Because Yenogwa even failed to get the ball. At least to Saile, there was like, oh, Uzok or... I, but let me give him a three as well. I wrote two, but three. It's fine. Uh, what about the coach himself, Mpilo, that you've been defending? Uzoane, I will say this. I will give him Uguti. He team played less helicopter football, which is definitely a better thing. And the team was solid throughout the game. Uh, I also like the fact that he was bold and changed Jose Hota and Umashian and did not bring one of them and just went to Solomon's. I was happy with that uh, because keeping him doing the bench was going to was supposed to be a, an impact from the bench and he also came on early, which was okay. But the question is, why did he play Caleb? That's still something that I don't understand. Caleb wasn't supposed to be anywhere near that. Uduba would have been much better or just play Jose Hota again to add the pace and play much earlier than how when he played him. So Uzuane, from his technical standpoint, I give him a 5.5. Give me your own player ratings down on the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, remember, equals and pelumon.